Hey guys, it's Sean from Dragonfly here. Today we're gonna talk about ESNI, Encrypted Server Name Indication. What is that? I'll explain after. Uh, first, I just wanna show you how to configure it and then we'll worry about what it is. So right now, as in February, mid-February of 2019, there's only one browser that you can completely support, configure to support this. It's a pretty new thing. So right now it's, it's Firefox only. So the first thing that you wanna do is go and download the latest version of Firefox. Make sure that you are on at least Firefox 65.0.1, okay? So Firefox Quantum, all right? So you're there, you got that configured. So now it's time to go into the advanced settings in uh, Firefox, and this is what you're gonna do to configure it. So you're gonna go to about, oops. Can't type today. About config and uh, accept the risk. When you go in, you're gonna search for a couple of these different settings. So the first one that you're gonna search for is ESNI enabled. So you just start typing ESNI, and you can see right here, network security ESNI enabled. That will be uh, set to false. All you do is double click it. See, if I double click it, it goes to false. If I double click it again, it goes to true. You want it set to true. So do that. Then the second thing that you're gonna search for is, TRR, okay? So it's network TRR mode. I mean, you can search the whole string if you want, but just to be quick, this is gonna be set to zero. You wanna double click it and you wanna set that integer to number two. That is DNS over HTTPS. So set that to two, hit okay. And then, what's the other one? Oh, that's actually it. So you just set those two settings, okay? There's one other setting, while we're in here, there's one other setting that I'm gonna uh, encourage you to take care of. Um, and it, this is not related to ESNI, it's just related to something very similar. So I'm just gonna show you what it is, it's up to you if you wanna configure it. So if you go to media.peer connection, see this one, media peer connection enabled and I have that set to false. Again, you just double click it to set it to false. That's disabling WebRTC. WebRTC is something that can leak your IP address uh, when even when you're connected to a VPN. It, it can leak your, um, your true IP address, which kind of defeats the purpose of being connected to a VPN. So you wanna shut that off. That is something that you can also shut off in Chrome and Opera. And uh, I can cover that in another video if you wanna see it. So anyway, that's all you have to set. Uh, once, once you've set all those settings, you're gonna go to uh, encryptedsni.com, and this is a browser test where you can, uh, where you can test uh, if this is working or not. So you say, check my browser, and you can see we pass all the checks. Now you may not, just doing the, um, just doing what we just did, you may not be passing DNS sec. And the fix for that is that you want to um, set your DNS uh, server to 1.1.1.1 and uh, as an alternate, you can use 1.0.0.1. That would be using Cloudflare. Now, most people have their DNS set to 8.8.8.8, which is Google, and then as an alternate, 8.8.4.4, just a Google alternate server. Google, look, we, we all know they, uh, they collect your, you know, they sell your information, they collect your information, they analyze it, they do all kinds of stuff with it. So when you use Google DNS servers, that's what you're getting. Um, Cloudflare has basically um, put in place this uh, DNS uh, security to uh, keep your DNS searches confidential and they don't, they claim they don't sell your information. So, uh, so what is encrypted SNI uh, is the big question here. So what it is, is like, just first get it out of your head. If you think it is um, a way to anonym anonymously browse the web, it is not, there is no way to do that. I don't even care people that say Tor, Tor has been compromised. There have been plenty of people that have been arrested using Tor. So don't don't try and tell me that using Tor uh, is, is an uh, anonymously browsing the web. But even at that, um, there's no way to anonymously browse the web. There's only ways to uh, make it a little bit more private, you know, let's say pulling down the shades uh, in your house instead of just having all the windows wide open so anybody that walks by can see what you're doing. That's what this is. So what this is, now this only works, these, th this only works if the website you're visiting 
supports these technologies. Now, if the website you're visiting is hosted on Cloudflare, then, uh, then it will, by default, support these technologies. If the website you're visiting does not support these technologies, then this doesn't work. Uh, you're not really gaining any advantage. Um, but what it does is it keeps your DNS searches encrypted and private. So what that means is, when you, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to get into a whole complex explanation of DNS. There's, there's plenty of um, other videos out there about that. But if you understand the basics of DNS, uh, when you go to a website, let's say you go to Google.com, you're not actually going to Google.com. You're going to an IP address. It could be like 72.176.58.192. That's not it, but I'm just using that as an example. Um, IP addresses are very difficult for people to remember, but that's how, you know, they're very easy for computers to use. Uh, computers don't know how to use text like cloudflare.com or google.com. That doesn't mean anything to a computer, so it has to be translated to numbers, okay? So that's what DNS does. It's the service that translates familiar, easy to remember things like words like, uh, you know, dragonflycomputers.com or cloudflare.com or google.com or whatever, and translates those to the IP addresses that the computers actually use to display these websites. So every time you go, to a website, your computer has to do a DNS search to, to, to make that translation to display the website for you. And it's not just like one request. I mean, just to go to one website, it's like 110 requests that your computer has to make. It goes all over the internet. Your ISP can see it. And uh, you know your, the, the DNS server that you actually connect to, it could be your ISP's DNS servers or it could be Google DNS servers. They can take that information and sell it. They can analyze it. They can use it to advertise to you because they can see where you're going. So that's what this does. This secures your DNS requests so that they are encrypted and private. It does not mean that you're browsing the web anonymously, but it does mean that, um, that your requests are kept private so no one can see what websites you're going to based on your DNS requests, assuming the websites that you're going to are supporting these technologies, and that's the big if. Now, uh, Cloudflare claims that they are working very closely with the other browsers to get this implemented um, in their uh, you know, in their infrastructures in the, in the near future. And if uh, Opera and Chrome start to support this and I figure out how to enable it in those browsers, I will make videos uh, on those as well. But for right now, the only one that I can get working is, is Firefox. So that's what I'm showing you here. Um, so then again, like I said, the other thing is that unless the website that you're hitting supports these technologies, it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, now there's other things that you can do if, if you want to keep your DNS searches confidential. You can, you can use a Raspberry Pi and you can create a little internal DNS server uh, on your own internal network. Uh, it's still, and then you can, you can send that thing to Cloudflare and then what happens is you're going to be resolving as, you, as, your, as your internal DNS server, which you could set to Cloudflare, um, learns all your IP addresses that you go to, um, it's, you're not going to be searching externally for DNS anymore. You'll be hitting an internal server in your own network. Um, there are videos out there about that. If you want to see me make a video, I actually did set that up recently. If you want to see me make a video about it, it's kind of a pain in the ass and it's one of those things that if it, um, if it breaks, it can be tricky to fix it. You know, DNS is not the easiest thing to work with, especially from a command line perspective. So um, up to you. But basically, this is the start right here. And if you want to enable uh, encrypted SNI, this is how you do it in Firefox. It's not the be all end all. It's just another step uh, to try to uh, get you some privacy back. Uh, you know, there's a million different things and this is one of them. So this is new and it's just something that I wanted to uh, get out there and show you how to set up. So. As always, uh, thanks again for watching. Check out my other videos. Let me know what you'd like to see. And um, we'll talk to you soon.